Hello, Beverly Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day, girl. On this very, very, very hot day, um, can the summer just leave? Okay, it has been enough. I need my fall here. I am a fall guy, a winter guy. I need my pumpkin spice. I need my Halloween. I need my good things. I am done with this heat, okay? It is like almost 9 p.m. and it is 90 fucking degrees out there. I am dying. No, I am not done with this. Okay, guys, so let's talk about this tea and it is, it is all about Real Housewives of New Jersey. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you want to support my channel, now you can do it through the thank bottom right here. Let's talk about this mess. Hey, yo, Mio. No. My friend, my soulmate, my sister. I am so glad that Juan Dixon is not here right now. Can Erica, I don't have to make you look bad. You can do that on your own. <laughs> better? Is bitch better? I'm shaking. I'm physically shaking. Girl. I mean, look, we already talked about the whole mess that is going on in New Jersey. We pretty much know what is going to happen next season of New Jersey at this point, right? Uh, the season is over. Teresa's little spin-off is over. Like, now we're just kind of like waiting to see what is going to be next. Now, we have a little bit of information because now we are getting who is going to be who. And apparently, for the first time ever, the Real Housewives of New Jersey will have seven housewives. And not only that, remember that Jackie Goldschneider was demoted to a friend of the show? Well, the demotion was not official, right? She literally filmed like all the time with all of the ladies, but she was fighting for her spot, okay? She was dying for having her full-time spot and she fight through all the season you know that's why she became bff with Teresa. that's why she was defending her that was why she was screaming to some people at some of the parties well apparently it wasn't enough and she now officially has lost the full-time um position you know to a new housewives who apparently is going to be like a breakout star you know they're saying that she's going to be funny that we're gonna be loving her that she's going to be giving us one-liners and meme moments and all of that so let's go through all this information it says over here <clears throat> the real housewife of new jersey cast is getting a major shakeup. page six has exclusively learned Multiple sources tell us that Rachel Fuda will join Teresa Judice, Melissa Gorga, Jennifer Aiding, Dolores Catania, and Margaret Joseph as a full-time cast member for season 13, alongside fellow newbie Danielle Cabral. Jackie will be a friend as will the third newbie, Jennifer Fessler, okay? Even though Jackie Goldschneider and Jennifer Fessler will have part-time titles, we are told they film just as much as the other women and that they will be featured heavily through the season. Additionally, we are told many of the scene film were in group settings, which is great because you know every time that we get a group, shit just goes down. <laughs> you know, like, and especially in New Jersey, these girls are cray cray, all right? So that's great. While one source tell, tell us that Jackie Goldschneider is unhappy about the network's call, Another insists she feels great about her season. Girl, we all know that the other one is Jackie herself, okay? Danielle Cabral was introduced to the group throughout Teresa Judice, whether as friends of the housewife Jen Fessler was introduced to the group via longtime friend Margaret Josephs and is supposedly super entertaining and funny and will most likely be a breakout star. So girl, we are getting a bunch, a bunch of new 
people, which is great, you know, like at this point, I'm thinking if you are having the same group for too long, it's just going to become repetitive. We, do we want to be seeing the same drama over and over and over? And I remember last year, uh, they were like, oh, history uh, in, happening right now. Housewife of New Jersey have the same cast for like four or five years in a row. And it was like, should we really be celebrating this? Because when housewives stay for too long, uh, they become too comfortable, you know, and not all of them are willing to do what it make, what it takes to be a good housewife. You know, like Teresa Judah, she's always down for whatever, you know, she will fight, she will scream, she will laugh, she will cry, she will show, she, she will do everything. So in that case, it worked out. But many, many, many housewives, they actually just get like, ah, oh, I'm here, you know, I can do the bare minimum and I'm still going to be here. And then it kind of like doesn't work out because we need that constant drama. We need that, that push, that spark that is really going to be happening. Now, I'm loving that we are getting so many new people i am re already following some of these well actually all of the new girls uh danielle cabral is a beautiful woman and she is actually very entertaining and i think that she's going to be a really really good housewife now i also follow um this uh jennifer um what is her last name wait fessler yeah jennifer fessler and i look i don't hate her it's just like she is extremely outgoing for my taste. You know, I'm an introvert, so like when people are very, very like extra, I'm like, ugh, can you just like not, you know? Uh, and she she has like this Instagram, she's always like, like, you know, doing things and laughing and being all happy, you know, and sometimes you're like, ugh, girl, can you just like turn it down a little bit? Like, I don't want to be dealing with this at, you know, nine in the morning uh but again that doesn't mean that i hate her by any means you know i mean just like uh personality wise so i'm very curious because if they're saying that she's going to be a breakout star i think it's because of that i think because she is very funny you know and it actually like we don't have someone who is like a very good reader or who throw very good shade in new jersey you know, maybe because all of them, they don't have like a filter. So they just like tell everything to other people's faces. And sometimes the shade is all about, you know, hiding the jab um, and they don't know how to do that. So it will be interesting. You know, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to see uh, how these girls are going to behave. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think on the comments below about all of this. Um, are you upset about Jackie Goldschneider? Look, I'm... I'm honestly whatever. I feel like Jackie doesn't really bring too much to the show, and yeah, maybe a friend of the of the show is just perfect for her. But I'm guessing she's still gonna be fighting for that full time for next season. So let's see. Let's wait and see what is going to happen. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.